we're talking the conversation about the Joy Clean Ghana campaign. It's a great collaboration with the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. And two of the four mills, you know, shut down by the Accra Metropolitan Assembly last week for operating under unhygienic conditions. They have resumed after the refurbishment of their facilities. So we told you it works. The four were found to be milling all manner of food items under terrible conditions at the time at the Makola market in the central business district of Accra. Uh, lady always on the beat, Nancy Emma Fajra Dosi. However, report there had been a total transformation when the Joy Clean Ghana campaign tax force also returned to the market on Wednesday. And the other two, however, shut down again as they had not completely cleaned up the act. Watch this. They had very dirty floors. So if you are able to cement the place, renovate the place nicely, you come and inform us from the office, we'll, we'll open you. you don't have to. Wires were hanging dangerously. Look at the electrical wires all over here. You're supposed to bundle them, tie them, tape them all together. The millers shared the place with cockroaches and had turned the mill into bedrooms with dirty clothes hanging around. Look at uh, uh, cockroaches. Can you see cockroaches all over? So you blend the, the, the this thing with cockroaches all over. Today, Inspector Asetanga suggested the team go back to re-inspect. Our visit here today is to review to review what we did last week, and uh, we are to inspect to see the others we added them to do. We ask them to to improve upon their production uh, premises by painting, by flooring, the, cementing the floors. So we are here this morning to follow up through all that we, went, we did last week to see whether there is compliance or not. If any of them do not comply, then we will not take the person on. The inspection began at the pepper mill. The other day we came, the floor was dusty. It wasn't cemented. The walls were very dirty with potholes all over. The wires were exposed. You can see that they've floored, the, they floored the floor, they've painted the place, the wires have been taken care of. A quick check at the second pepper mill, the same place the team found cockroaches, revealed things were a lot different now. We are getting results. See the place? It has been floored and tied very well. You're going to medical school? Yes, I was. You went to the office? Yes, I, yes, I was. Okay. So continue to clean the place. Okay. When we come and we see the place nasty, not clean. We will not, we will not spare you. Okay. The wires, good. The miller, who was full of praise for the team, promised to maintain the cleanliness. The tomato miller had painted the entire place, but his wires were still untidy. I tell you, when we came the last time, the last time, I'm not, I didn't hear anything. We told you to get qualified electrician. I have reported for them. For they who? For electrician. Those will come and feed the meter Let's for me. Out. Let's get out. Please, I'm, I'm better than Take your so, valuables out. So, I've We will lock the place. Let them come to AMA office and then we'll, if we, you do what we, we, we uh, do. I report for that. They say they no will problem. come. No problem. So, you, you let them out. Let's go out. out. So they don't he wasn't the only person who was shut down. This operator of the granite mill, who was painting at the time of our visit, also had his shop closed down for one reason. What did we tell you to do? Oh, simple answers, then fast, then we'll go. You feel that, you feel you operate the way you are operating, you will not comply to our law. Where is the clean? You clean here, you have this. When you saw us, you started packing them and piling them up. So which one have you cleaned? Can you imagine this for what? So can we sit down and allow you people to do what you want to do? No. The place that got the inspector angry was the mill, where lime was being milled with a corn. What do we do? Should we put your place up for you to clean the place? Look at the whole place. 
we ask you to do. You haven't done anything. The wires are asking you mm -hmm. to get listen to me. Yeah, I yeah. told you that day I came here. Remember, we told you that get qualified electrician. Now you take all the, the wires, wires together. Okay, okay, Did I okay. tell you or not? <laughs> Did you do it? You do it. Uh, Daughter, I got it. This place, uh, this corn mill people, we have to. This, uh, this corn mill people, we have to attach some seriousness on them, because like they don't want to comply with anything that we ask them to do. Yeah, I ask them to bring the pants. So, so nothing they have changed here. It's like they sleep here. Look at mat here. Look at their sponges. The team moved from the millers and visited two restaurants. The first restaurant had a decent environment, but had cobwebs all over. <laughs> Madam, madam. A popular restaurant, Yekumkom, that had been taken to court earlier this year for not possessing health cards, was also given 48 hours to improve the sanitation condition or be taken to court again. Fish crab, mo chee ye. Fish, fish crab, mo chee ye. Egu ha, but she, eh, I say no. Any side way, eh, eh, eh. Eh, but until you buy an anka, you clean it well, now the bill is here. Then the problem be any o. Ana, ni pa na ode ko man, ubi se ube hunwe ya, obeje order no. In all, the six of the Clean Ghana campaign was successful. Joining me in the studio is the District's Environmental Health Inspector for Okaikwe South, a man who's been uh, with the Clean Ghana campaign from the very beginning. Mr. Joseph A. Asetanga is here. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Uh, yeah, I see that yesterday you went back to some of the places you went to a week before. Yes. Um, have they all complied? Obviously not. Yeah. Good morning to your listeners and uh, join us. Clean Ghana campaign for the good work that you are doing for the country as a whole, for that matter, AMA. We are very proud of your service that you are offering to AMA. And we think that this your service will reach other municipal assemblies that is also facing the same challenges that we are going through. Mm. So we're very happy for your services. Um, yeah, this job has come to our table in fact, has highlighted a lot of problems that has been in the quiet for a long time. Mm. And uh, we've always been on the ground as environmental health officers, trying to correct the, the wrongdoings that is all over everywhere. That is like compliance and people to comply the basic bylaws of the assembly. They feel... That's a big challenge. Challenge for The them. fact that the cameras are on them now is making a whole it's lot of difference. It's making very, very mm. imp great impact. Is making a great impact. Um, since the onset of this program, we have tackled uh, various areas. The first day we tackled Okakwe South in the first place, mm. New Plant Station. Uh, for that matter, there were food vendors. We went through them. A lot of challenges were there, non compliance to our bylaws on food hygiene and safety. A um, lot of problems relating to cleanliness, sanitation basic compliance daily mm. was what we went to meet and uh, all our enforcement uh, team we descended on them and made sure that we did everything to make a change within where they all all the food vendors and whoever was a stakeholder um, understand that there is the need for them to do the right thing because the public safety is our concern mm. yes upon that we visited all over other um, localities, North Kaneshi, um, went to Sidu uh, Ketake, we visited Jamestown, mm -hmm. we visited uh, Makola Market, we went for re-inspection again, mm -hmm. uh, Bilkuma South, we went there, uh, we visited um, a particular place at 
the ten, there is no difference. So it's all over Accra. Mm. So we are up now, and we yeah. are going for them. So the things that we are seeing, and I remember yesterday a lot of people screaming because they saw how the fufu, you know, the pounding, the machine that they use in pounding the fufu, the, and the general environment, how people are even uh, um, you, openly defecating very close to where they are cooking. Uh, the kind of discoveries, even in this one, a lot of people watch and they are like, oh my God, is this where the food is coming from? You have been on the ground way before we joined with the cameras. Is what you're seeing now worse? Are you finding things that are unbelievable compared to the things that you've discovered in the past? Um, it's, it's not worse or before or now. Mm. It is something that the people decide to live with. Open defecation, like we rightly mentioned. Accra is a transit point for all manner of people. Everybody wants to come and live in Accra. But there is no space in Accra. So the moment they move into Accra, any little corner, wherever they can have a place to hide, they go to live there. And at that particular area, whoever is living there, there is no place of convenience for them. So at the, at the, 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 the hours they think that the place is safe for them, they will do their own thing at that particular point. Mm. We have made efforts with uh, the leadership of our mayor has given us the mandate. And um, we soup on open defecation every dawn, 4 a.m. We okay. work 4 a.m. We have tax force that 4 a.m. Vehicle and um, equipment is made available for us with security. Mm. And we swoop at them at the areas that they do the, they, ca they, they, they practice the open defecation. We arrest them and they are prosecuted daily. Mm. Ask her now we are talking. We go to La Labadi uh, uh, District Court. We have a lot of uh, uh, offenders there and they are on. But is it, is it cutting down the number of people who are still in that practice? Are we, is it going down? It's reduced. Mm. It's drastically going down. Because now people who have realized that Everybody is a watchdog to them. Mm. And AMA has planted, we put our people there. Okay. So the moment you are going to do whatever is insanitary, either you do it the time you think that there is no anybody around the area, the moment you are on the act, we are arresting you. Oh, okay. okay. The moment you are on the act, we are arresting mm. you. Even refuse disposal. The moment you take refuse and go and dispose the refuse at an unauthorized place, the moment you are pouring the refuse, we are picking you mm. up. So these two restaurants, essentially yesterday, the, the, the discoveries that yes. you made, what, what's going to happen to them? Yeah, we, we've already prosecuted them before. They've been to court. They're and the same Yeah, the same, particu mm. the same uh, restaurant. And they were fined heavily. They were fined heavily. Per each person paid 400 Ghana, multiplied by eight of them. Maybe that's not deterrent enough because if you see the way they are still keeping the restaurants, the chop bars, if you like, I mean, it's still not clean. That this, this, this brought the call for us to visit the place to see whether after the court proceedings, did they change their attitude? Have they changed the conditions? Have they changed what they were doing, going through? Did they uh, uh, comply with the bylaws for all the workers to undergo the medical screening for what we send them to court? Mm. Have they tidied up the place? Is the place being transformed to meet the standards that well, we want? What's wanted? your verdict? For the place, as of yesterday, we are we are we are we are making plans either to re-prosecute them again for what they did because we served them letter yesterday, mm. and we are going to. What, what did the letter say? The letter is an, uh, a letter uh, indicating for uh, abatement notice. When we say abatement notice, it's a notice when we identify a nuisance like the insanitary conditions within the restaurant is a nuisance. Mm -hmm. So we serve you the letter based on the content of what is existing within your premises. Okay. Then the letter will direct you as to what to do within a specific period of time. Mm -hmm. Non-compliance to meet that p period of time, then court will then apply for court summons again. Okay. And you will revisit the court again. Okay. And that is well, what we did to them. All right. So what's going to happen next? Uh, you move again next week. Yeah, we will. But we're not telling week. the viewers where you're no, coming no, to. No, 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 no. We yeah. don't tell them. <laughs> they are there, we come.
Okay. Yes. All right. We'll have to end our conversation here, but we will certainly uh, pick it up again, uh, of course, in our programming to, uh, throughout the days. The Joy Clean Ghana campaign that we're doing in collaboration with the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. So thank you, Mr. Um, Asatanga. Do you have a military or police training or something? Or some, when you're on the field and you're, uh, you're telling them what to do, you uh, come across as... I have, have, have a passion for the job that I've gone for. You do it really well. Yes. So I, I love the job. Okay. And I, I tra I'm trained to, to do the job. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, so we wish you well in the coming weeks and the coming days. Thank, thank you, you for what you and do. Thank we you for this. Like thank you. you for this opportunity too. Yeah. We also um, plead with you to continue with this because we're going to, um, our mayor has given us the green light to extend it to every corner within AMA here. Great. Every municipality because okay. It's really give yielding re results. Okay. And Thank uh, you very much. He did a lot. And we'll make sure that we we'll also give you the necessary support. Okay. And you will help us to continue to clean Fantastic. Ghana. Thank Fantastic. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. I think the, the Joy Clean Ghana campaign mm -hmm. has done um, a lot of things. But one key thing is we're discovering very good people who work uh, within the uh, Metropolitan Assembly. And, uh, you know, they have a lot of passion for what they do. We encourage you to still continue. Uh, stay with us. We've got show business with a lady who is celebrating her birthday today, Mapira Sabihi. It's your birthday today. <laughs> stay with us, Ketsi. I wait for your drinking water. We'll bring you show business with a birthday girl. Okay.